Hi everyone, can you guess where I am right now? Take a look. <gasps> I'm on the playground. There's Mr. Pendergast. There's Eli. There's Paul. There's Paul. So I thought it'd be fun if I read you a book on one of our favorite places to be together on the playground. It's called Kindness to Share from A to Z. And it's written by Todd and Peggy Snow. I hope you can hear me because there's some cars out here. All right, let's see if I can get the phone propped up. How about right here? There we go. Okay, kindness to share from A to Z. Kindness is for sharing in what you say and do. Being kind is good for others and how you should be treated too. We know all about kindness at the Sarah Marie School. Ask someone to play with you. Oh, that little boy is on the swings by himself and his friend is saying, come on, let's play soccer together. Bring flowers to a person who needs cheering up. Maybe you know someone who's not feeling well right now. Maybe you could write them a card or send them some flowers, let them know you're thinking of them. Collect canned food for people who are hungry. Oh, I know we did this recently um, at my house. We brought some food that we had and we brought it to a neighbor's house for them to bring to people who didn't have food. We felt really good about helping others. Do something nice for another person just because. What's this little girl doing? She's helping her mom and dad do what? Rake leaves. What season is it? Is it spring? No. Is it summer? No. I think it's fall time. Look, there's a pumpkin too. A jack-o'-lantern. Oh, this is super helpful. Um, especially those of you right now at home with little brothers and sisters. Entertain the younger kids at a family party. So being kind to your brothers and sisters who are younger than you, playing with them, sharing their toys with you. With them. Forgive someone who makes a mistake. Oh, looks like the toy was broken and the little boy saying, that's okay, we can fix it together. Give someone a compliment. I really like your picture. You've been working so hard on it. What a beautiful color blue. That's something nice to say. Help clean up after dinner. Invite the new cadet school to sit with you at lunch. We never want someone to sit alone. We want to make sure everyone knows that they have a seat at the table next to their friends. Join in a good cause. Looks like they're taking a walk and it says walk for animals. So they're showing that they care about animals and they want everyone to know about it. Maybe you have a cause that you are really passionate about and you go for walks to let everyone know that you care. Kiss your parents goodnight. Listen when others are talking. Oh, they're showing whole body listening, aren't they? Eyes watching, ears listening, their voices are quiet, their bodies are calm make cookies to welcome a new neighbor. Notice when someone is kind to you. What are those special words that you use when someone gives you something or someone's kind to you? You can say, thank you. Oh, this is a good one. Offer to help without waiting to be asked. So maybe instead of mom saying, can you clean your room? It's a mess. As soon as you see that your toys are out, you can put them away yourself, right? You don't need mom and dad to tell you that. If you see that your toys are on the floor, you put them away yourself, being responsible. And look at the little boy is holding the door. He knows someone's coming with packages, so he says, I'm gonna hold the door. Oh, here it is, pick up after yourself. Good one. Quiet down when others are trying to sleep. 
Maybe you have a younger brother or sister in the house that are, is napping right now and you might need to be quiet. Read a story to a younger child. Here's one of the most important ones. Can you guys see what that says? Say, I love you. Oh, she's giving her grandma a hug and she says, I love you. That's so important. I know a lot of us maybe haven't seen some of our family in a little while. Maybe our grandmas and grandpas, our cousins, aunts and uncles. Maybe you could give them a call and say, I love you and let them know that you're thinking of them. Let's see. Oh, good one here. Think before you speak. Choose kind words. We're not gonna say words that would hurt someone dip into people's buckets. Use other people's things with care and ask first. This little boy really wants to play with the orange dinosaur. Should he grab it away or should he say, excuse me, may I have a turn with that? I think using kind words and saying, excuse me, may I have a turn is going to be the best choice. Visit people in a retirement home. So maybe you know someone who lives in a different home. You can send them cards right now. Maybe give them a call. Let them know you love them and you're saying hi and you're thinking of them. Wait your turn. Do you see anyone budging here? No. Do you see anyone pushing? No. They're all waiting their turn nicely. No one's getting hurt. Right? They're being safe. Explain how to play a game so others can join in. Oh, this is a good one. Yell good things at a game like yay and go team go. We want to be good sports, right? We don't want to say boo. That's not, that's unkind. We want to cheer people on and say good job, good goal. Nice work, nice teamwork. Zipping a younger child's jacket. I hope that you guys were able to find lots of things A to Z of ways to be kind in this book. Why don't you try it and, and see maybe today you do something that's super kind and think about it. How does that make your friends and your family feel? How does that make your brothers and sisters feel? Your mommies and daddies? Does it make them feel good? Yeah. Thanks for reading along with me, guys. I had fun coming to the playground today and I wanted to show you what was going on out here. I know the playground misses you very much. <laughs> All right, say bye. Goodbye.